Hello everybody and welcome back to some mega modded Gungeon. Unfortunately this time we are Sans... Sans? Is that the right word? There is no never name today. That's what I've tried to say. He is Sans. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to play a normal run. Unfortunately at the minute, by the way, Cells mod, um, Unstable Strafes mod isn't loading. It's an issue with my machine. It's not an issue with the mod. It's just an issue. It actually didn't load in the last episode either. I'm going to try and solve it. I was supposed to try and solve it before this episode, but I left the episode too late. Anyways, before we start, one second. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we got. Um, ooh. Intriguing. We got ourselves the barcode scanner, which I remember being pretty interesting. And we also got ourselves the space hammer. I can't remember what this did. Modded Gungeon's best friend. Passive. Hammer created by the Gungeoneer from a planet second dimension. This hammer bursts the power to tear pocket halfway through into the next dimension in order to put excess items inside. Now, to me, I, I've definitely had it before, but I don't remember what it does. If I were to guess, it increases the likelihood of modded items appearing. Also, something about this barcode projectile doesn't seem right. Right? Some, something about that doesn't doesn't look quite as it should. I'm trying to figure out exactly what's wrong with it, but I can't quite tell. Anyways, barcode scanner, pretty good. It does a good enough job for us right now. It's not super fast firing, it's not super high damage, but for the first floor, it's actually pretty good because it's very ammo efficient. But yes, we are back again with some Gungeon. We have a new update to some bunnies mod planet side. Um, Boasting a new secret NPC. Obviously, whenever it's a secret NPC, there is no guarantee of if or when we shall see it. Uh, but, always fun to see um, something new from, from Bunny. Of course, as of late, he's been kind of the uh, the leading man in re re revolution? Revolutions? I, I, I don't know the best word. In, like, new things in Gungeon. Of course, not a bot's doing a lot more stuff behind the scene as well. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to leave not about uncredited. They've been doing some really, really good work. But yeah, Bunny has been releasing some crazy high quality stuff recently. I know that he's been posting some of it to the uh, to the subreddit as well, which is actually something I, I kind of wish more modders would do. Um, because I feel like I know that the subreddit isn't exactly a huge community um, of people. It's not exactly massive, but I feel like there's quite a lot of people on there that play on PC that don't realize the modding scene is what it is. Um, and it could do with a little more love. I feel like just generally the modding scene for, um, for Enter the Gungeon is quite small. And I don't even mean in terms of the modders. There's actually quite a lot of modders, uh, or at least a good handful of very active modders that do a lot. It's more so that there's not that many people actively playing modded content. Like, Obviously, there's a decent amount. It's not it's not completely minimal. Otherwise, people probably wouldn't be making mods for this game as much. But it's not as much as you'd think. I feel like normally... Um, oh, wait. Is this giving us excess money? I think this is giving us excess money. Because I feel like I have a lot more money than I otherwise have. Often used in more technologically adapt shops to scan items for purchase, but Be Bello has no idea how to use a computer. I think it's giving us more money, because I seem to have significantly more cash than I would do otherwise, which is very nice. Um, yeah, that's this is a lot of money, right? Which is good, because it means it's an even better weapon for early game. Very good weapon to start with. Yeah, it seems like every enemy is dropping at least three casings. Something around that line, at least. Uh, but yeah, I think like whenever Hutz puts out a video uh, with modded Gungeon, which he hasn't unfortunately done for a while, which to be fair, I don't blame him. There's a lot of other stuff to cover that's a lot more important right now. Um, like obviously a lot of the Isaac modding scene, stuff like that. That's that's kind of, for, for at least for his channel, it's a lot more important. Um, but yeah, I feel, like, I feel like whenever he does something like that, it gives it a good boost. Obviously, I still do modded content on my channel, but even, uh, even though my channel is growing pretty rapidly at the minute, Gungeon still isn't huge on my channel, which is weird considering Gungeon used to be what was huge on my channel. Gungeon used to be, at least for me, in, in, in like a relative terms to the amount of viewership I got, Gungeon used to draw the most the most viewership by far. And yeah, it quickly transitioned, didn't it? Uh, Binding of Isaac. I did. I actually played Binding of Isaac on my channel for a long time before Repentance, probably a good like year before Repentance, pretty much. And it never really did that well. Like, it didn't do badly, but it was getting, like, 
60 to 70 views an episode max, which honestly I was pretty happy with at the time. Like, I, I didn't really have um, any specific goal in mind for, uh, for, for viewership or anything like that. I was just happy that some people were watching it and some people were commenting. Um... And it kind of, it kind of slowly grew. Ooh, another great weapon. It kind of slowly grew over time, and uh, it got, it got like I picked up a little more traction here and there. I might go oubliette this run, you know. What the hell is this? Um, infectious rounds. Is that what it's like? Inject around. Sorry. These rounds are custom made to inject any ailment of the, of an enemy deeper into it, causing it to burst when killed. Uh, an experimental ammo type that would allow the storage of nutrition for easy use. Nutrients for easy use, sorry. Fell out of sight quickly when people realized you literally had to shoot yourself in the foot to gain their benefit. Hmm. Intriguing. I, I am certainly intrigued by the prospect of this. Uh, I will go and buy this additional key now. Yeah, we got a lot of money. Very happy with that. Um, yeah, uh, and, and it's just it's just like... It's kind of a shame that there's not any other bigger channels doing modded content. Obviously, Retromation for a little while was kind of the flagship YouTuber for um, Enter the Gungeon content and even modded for a little while as well. Um, but unfortunately, he has moved on, which again is fine. People do. Um, people's channels have to grow and evolve and his his has become kind of interesting. I don't watch Retromation as much as I used to, but that's mainly just because I don't watch YouTube as much as I used to. Uh, but he kind of has... Ah, I can't believe... I just lost that Flawless there. That was such a terrible loss of a Flawless. That was just dumb. I'm not sure what happened, if it was the, me rolling over the table or just me being too close to him that caused that. Oh, I just realized I'm not actually hitting him. I was too far away. Yeah, I just wasted a bunch of ammo, but I suppose you always dig stuff up with this guy. But that was some pretty, pretty bad uh, Flawless losses there. Uh, I feel like the inject, uh, Injector rounds might have a synergy with a Syringe. Pretty sure they do. The plunger is what I meant, not the syringe. Yes, that's how I lost my medical license. Okay, I'm gonna ch quickly see if uh, the Planet Side Wiki has that on there. It might not. Not the, the wiki is not always up to date on all synergies. So, um, passive item synergies. Let's see. Let's see. So it looks like it's not on here at the minute, from what I'm seeing. Uh, I will quickly see if the actual uh, items themselves are on there, though. Ah, the items themselves aren't on there either, so it's not quite up to date yet. This must be a reasonably new addition. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how this, for one, how the item works as of base functionality, and then what the synergy is bringing to the table, because I, I don't know either. <laughs> I, I have no idea, so we, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Exciting run. I always love it when we get a, a modded synergy off the bat. But yeah, as I was saying, it'd just be, it'd be nice to see another sort of bigger name come out and um, do some modded content. And just hopefully, I'm kind of hoping that Binding of Isaac and other games, things like that, kind of help my channel grow and therefore shed a little more light on Enter the Gungeon modding. I feel like a lot of people have come to my channel recently for Binding of Isaac uh, modded content and thus subscribed and seen. I also do a modded Gungeon series and they may think, ooh, don't know what mo uh, Enter the Gungeon modding is. Oh, I haven't seen Enter the Gungeon before. Check it out, see what see what's going on. And yeah, hopefully they're, they're pleasantly surprised um, by the, the vast wealth of content that this game has to offer in the modding scene. Um, I really think a lot of people would be. And also, it does seem that that is at least somewhat the case, because I think it was the last episode got like 700, 800 views, which is significantly higher than my regular viewership on the um, on the Gungeon series. The Gungeon series normally lies around 400 views, which is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but goddamn, yeah, almost doubled the viewership, which was pretty awesome to see. Yeah, I'm, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on with these injector rounds right now. I might actually, do you know what, I'm going to take a pause of the video real quick after this room, and I'm going to message Bunny and see, just so I can give a better explanation as to what's going on. Because at the minute, I can't really tell, and I uh, specifically I can't tell what the synergy's doing. I don't know if I'm just misusing the item, so one moment. Okay, we're going to continue on. I've give it, I've sent um, a message to Bunny, and we'll see when he replies. I think he's typing right now, so it should be pretty quick. Ooh, this room's a bit spicy. 
but this room should be a lot of money. At one point, like, at a certain point, I need to kind of deviate away from the barcode scanner because it's not going to be as potent later on. But for now, it's doing a pretty good job. Um, I think we can stick with it for now. But yeah, there's going to come a time. This room was an experimental room I made that didn't particularly work. <laughs> I, I tried using kind of wacky shapes. This was when I was like very fair, very only just starting to make rooms. These bits specifically in the corners really don't work. Um, and I, I should rework them, mainly because of situations such as this, where I can barely hit the enemy and they can hit me easily. But there you go. Okay, if an enemy has a debuff on it, it will spawn a pool of the debuff when the enemy dies. So poisoned enemies spawn a poison pool under it, and the synergy increases that radius. Interesting. Got a sack of pickups. I'm pretty sure a sack of pickups is literally what it says on the tin. Yep. Oh, I, I didn't mean to buy that full heart there, but honestly, I'll take it. Crown of Guns. Do you know what? I'll take the Crown of Guns. I think the Crown of, Crown of Guns is an interesting one for synergies. It can be quite good. Um, and honestly, while like while we've got the ability to keep using barcode, um, barcode scanner, I will carry on trying to use it. Um, yeah, let's continue on. But yeah, so it seems like the the injector rounds they seem intriguing, but difficult to use. So like. Oh, it's also a 10% damage up as well, which is nice. Um, so, like, I feel like if you can get certain debuffs... So, he said, the way that he's worded it, he says that if an enemy has a debuff on it... So, like, I, personally, I wouldn't count poison as a debuff. Ah, there you go, look. So there's, the, there's these poison pools here. So that's pretty interesting. So, personally, I wouldn't really count poison as a debuff. So, my question is, does he just mean status effects or... Like, do actual debuffs work? Like, if I slow an enemy, will it create a pool on the floor that slows other enemies? Is that something that could happen? I, I feel like no, because that doesn't actually exist as a liquid, really. Uh, but maybe? Does, does slow as it exist as a liquid? It doesn't, does it, right? I'm not going crazy on that. Right. I think after this floor, we probably want to pack it in with the barcode scanner. But considering we got like a boss killer, and this is actually a reasonably effective room clearer. I'm not, I'm not being too hasty about getting rid of it yet. I love it when it gives you a trap room like that, where it's like, look, a trap room where the trap is completely unnecessary. <laughs> so it's just like a free room. It's so funny. This is another one of my experimental rooms. God damn, I'm getting hit so much this run. I need to be careful. Do you know what? I don't trust it. We got ourselves some sort of ring. The Widow's Ring. A passive item. Charmed enemies can be instantly slain. That sounds rather intriguing. Especially... If we can find some sort of charm and it works with the injector rounds. Because if it does, oh boy, we are in for a treat. Look at this. How am I getting hit so much right now? It's kind of pathetic. I'm destroying them bells, by the way, because they're dropping casings. I'm probably taking a lot of damage because I'm trying so desperately to use the barcode scanner when I probably shouldn't. Okay, more ammo for that bad boy. And I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just use the shovel from now on for the rest of this floor. Because I think that's pretty much the boss fight, right? And this thing, while not having a ton of range, does a lot of damage. And it gave us an active item, which is pretty good. God damn, this thing is so cool. Remember when this thing used to be, like, even more busted than it currently is? This thing used to be so overpowered. Another bomb. Okay, let's just quickly check out what's here. I might go back into my shop and see if I can buy myself any more 
ailments. Okay, so this one we actually have to pass through. Let's go to the shop first, actually. There isn't actually anything I can buy. Flame hand ain't bad. Right, still gonna use the shovel gun though for the boss. I think that'll work out nicely. And honestly, we can flawless this guy. Also, shaft grenades. I, I, like, I still don't really understand why they made it so that this weapon can drop active items. I know that the, a lot of them aren't good, but shaft grenades especially are insanely good. <laughs> it's a, just a weird choice. Almost got him. There you go. Hopefully we get um, one of the flawless things that gives us HP. The flippity hell is this? The forgotten round. I was thinking we were going to get one from Never Names mod, but here you go. This rare yet false artifact indicates mastery of the first hidden chamber. Despite being a false copy of a master round, its time spent within the mutagenic conditions of the oubliette has bestowed its similar power to that of a real master round. Okay. So, wait, what? Oh, uh, I, I reckon it means it's tradable at his new shop, but it doesn't actually give us any uh, uh, additional health. Also, we have two active item slots for some reason. We also got this bad boy, which is, eh, it's okay. In fact, no, I was gonna gun munch, but I, I genuinely think I want to keep everything we have. Cool. Also, I'm interested to find out if I can steal from the um, the guy that costs master rounds. I'm very intrigued. I apologize if you heard that there. Having a sip of my Lucasade pink lemonade. I drink like one of these a day. They're incredible. Okay, so we have enough money at this point. I think let's just use the, the knight's gun for a bit. See if we can get some good stuff from that. I think good thing about the knight's gun as well is we can get more shaft grenades, which actually do stack, um, I believe at least. And we can get things like the map, uh, so we can like map out the rest of the floor, which is pretty darn useful. Just remember not to manual reload with it. That is a problem I always had with this thing. I'd always forget that if you manual reload, it doesn't actually dig anything up. God, it two shot him. It actually two shot him. That's crazy. And there you go. Beautiful. But yeah, with, with the barcode scanner, even when we're not using it, like, we, we have it in backup and we essentially just have unlimited money. Yeah, there you go. Look, we have six shaft grenades now. So they do stack, so we, we can steal quite a lot of stuff. We get ourselves the raccoon, which I will just take because he is one fine chap. I'll actually buy that as well, because that seems pretty useful. I actually don't need the key. I really don't. I really hope we can get something that applies charm, just to test out this theory I have. You watch, Bunny will tell us in the comments that, that my theory wouldn't even work, even if I got a charm weapon. But I still want to try it out, because it seems like a really fun little synergy, if it's plausible. Oh god, that guy scared the shit out of me. Get out the way, raccoon. Coloranthi ring is fine. We also got ourselves a bit of this. Hello, hello. Pig whistle. I can't remember how does the pig whistle work. A cursed relic created by the sage that sealed the mighty pig, pig lord. Upon playing, it summons the Lord Cannon from his eternal prison to perform his required duties. Why do we have so many active slots? What's going on? What's happening here? Does something that I have give me a ton of active slots? Ah, oh, It's this, isn't it? It's Space Hammer. Modded Gungeon's best friend. Makes a lot more sense now. It just... Yeah, yeah. If we... If, even if we look... Um, tear a pocket halfway to the next dimension in order to put excess items inside. I bet it gives us like 10 extra active item storage. 
Are you... What? Like, I, when it said spawns cannon, I thought it meant like a friendly version of the boss cannon. Do you know like where with Ticket you spawn a friendly Gatlingo? Not just a tiny green pig. That's next to useless. I'm guessing it's meant to be next to useless, but that's still a little sad to see. I'll grab that. Ah, no, Raccoon, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill your friend. I didn't mean for it to be this way. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. We've not had any good dig ups in a little while here. Come on, my Raccoon boy. So I think, I think the Raccoon, if I remember correctly, we can like feed him junk to carry us across trap rooms. Um, and we can also, he can also dig us up junk every now and again. It, there's, there's multiple different raccoon items, and I can't remember which one does which. This one is maybe the one that gives us extra ammo capacity based on how much junk we have. I don't know. It's one of them. Let's, let's, let's find out. Provide safe transport across trap rooms if junk is dropped in exchange. Yeah. He's a cute little fella. He's just along for the ride, mainly. Oh heck, what is this room? It's a ghost bonanza is what it is. Okay. I'm probably gonna use the, uh, the, the blood sucking woman at some point soon as well. Damn, we did get the clown shotgun though. Oh, okay. Clown shotgun, best gun in the game. Look at the rounds on the right hand side there, the bullets, and then listen to the sound it makes. God damn, this is a, a great day. Right, how many how many hearts do we have stored up? We have three. So let's utilize those three and at least let the blood sucking hag suck a little bit of our blood. She deserves it. She's had a hard day. <laughs> That's the best. This is what I mean when it's like, small details make a gun. I remember using this gun, um, like the first time Never Name made it. I really liked it, but this has just elevated it so high. It's so much better than it ever was. <laughs> I might as well buy the key now as well, I got so much money. So I think we just carry on using the knight's gun just because I think we have enough ammo to um, to deal with you. Right. Let's see if we get any good dig ups during this. Yeah, you are getting absolutely blasted, sir. Sadly, no good dig ups though. We got ourselves bouncy bullets, hell yes. Okay, I actually think that it is time to do the rat. Because <laughs> I don't think I've done the rat. Um, uh, like, at all, as of late. So let's uh, shaft grenade you, steal the Nord key. I, I could have just bought it, but heck that. Let's go on to the next floor. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Another lemonade break. Oh, it's good stuff. Curse infestation. Ooh, does barcode break curse infestation? First of all, I'm just gonna waste the remaining ammo on this thing. Also, bouncy bullets on this is. Damn it. Oh wait, one of them dropped some money. I, I, I need to put this to fa further to the test. I need to know, can I cheese it? This is a hell of a room.
Kind of doesn't really work when all the enemies are back in explosive. That hit me. Heck you. It's very hard to tell right now. I'm just going to stop because it's very hard to tell. Let's just use the clown shotgun for a bit. Also, does this thing have doubly bouncy bullets now that we have bouncy bullets as well? This thing's beautiful. Truly a wonderment of science. What we got in here? This old room. I still don't really know how this works. <laughs> I think I got a blank. I, I never remember. Maybe. No. I don't care. I don't know how this works. I'm not getting involved. I've already wasted a blank that I needed for the rat room. I'm already feeling depressed. This thing's incredible. And people might be like, isn't the sound annoying? Yes, it is. But that's kind of the point, right? You get immense power, but you have to deal with the fact that it's annoying. <laughs> and this thing, I don't know if it's just a bouncy bullets, but it is very strong. It's its really holding its own. It's doing a good job. Miss you. the best. Hey, Lizabeam fella. <laughs> the infestation thing really isn't bothering me right now, just because I have so many bullets on screen at once. It doesn't matter when there's this many shots. Die, heathen. More junk. <laughs> yes! Full on clowning. Clown town. I gotta go check what this does. I'm so happy. Right, I haven't had the clown mask in so long either. Uh, once more into the breach. I, I, I do apologize about checking this inside like during the episode. But I don't know, I, even though it's like not gameplay, I feel like you guys like this, right? When I go up and check the synergies and stuff. I feel like it's something that adds to the video a little bit when people kind of know what's going on. Um, ooh, I don't know why I checked weapons. I need to be on synergies. I'm stupid. One second. Synergies. Where are you, synergies? And then let's do clown. Clown town. Increase the clown gun shot the shotgun accuracy by 50%. Hell yes. I was really hoping it'd make it like fire confetti or something as well. <laughs> Just go the full clown route. I'm a little sad that we're paradox and so don't get the clown visuals. Damn, this thing's incredible. Holy hell. And we've got double bounces on this too. This is nuts. The accuracy of this thing. The sheer accuracy. This is, this gun is going to carry. This gun is going to carry. What the hell's this? Um, clip on ammo pouch. I'll give it a go. It's another active, isn't it? It's another active. The clip-on ammo pouch. Uh, increases the ammo capacity of your held gun by up to 50%. Ooh. I feel like we have to do it on this. Yeah, there you go. Up to 300 on this bad boy. I like it. This is unprecedented amounts of clown. Absolutely clowning about. Also, buy an additional blank because I need it for the rat room. Which I haven't found yet, but I feel that's more because of ignorance than actually me not finding it. This is awesome. I love this. Oh, I'm getting so many good synergies this episode. 
I say that, I think I got one. <laughs> the other one wasn't that good. I'm getting so many modded sims since this episode. A total of two. It's like two more than normal, so. This has to have a synergy too, right? What? Balloon gun and clown shotgun don't have a synergy? I really thought they would. You know, like, clowns always make balloon animals. Right, where's our grit? Where is it? Here it is. Somewhere around here. There it is. I forgot it required a regular key as, key as well. I actually don't have all the health for doing this. It's probably not a good idea. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Right, back we go. Try not to forget to go down there. If I get a flawless, I'll be pretty okay. But if I don't, my health is going to look a little meh. Okay. Ah, I love this room. This is a room that I created that is just hellfire. It just gets crazy. There's fire everywhere. The turrets were actually there to um, to facilitate blowing up all of the gasoline barrels that I placed down. Or the oil barrels, whatever you want to call them. They don't serve any function other than just popping all the barrels open instantly as soon as you walk in the room. Come on, my raccoon friend. It one-shot that phase of this dude. One shot him. Beautiful. Right, I think that's everything for this floor. Oh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. I forgot about the infestation. Whoopsie. Woo. Okay. Clown time. Let's go. I really shouldn't have used the blank there, but I was getting a bit close to that wall. Thank you for that. I love the clown sounds, and I hope you all do too. Yes! The flawless baby. The frink is this. The cursed brick. I have all the curse right now, by the way. Um, there seems to be sounds em emanating from the walls. This item cannot be dropped. I know what this does already. <laughs> this is just going to make wall and it spawn everywhere on the next floor, isn't it? Um, yeah, we're, we're on 4.5 curse. It's not terrible. Right, we're going to do the rat. I'm a little scared because I genuinely haven't fought the rat in a really, really long time. Like, I mean, like, it's it feels like it's been like a year since I fought the rat. So... Mainly, I mainly just don't fight him anymore because, for one, I didn't fight him a lot because I was playing the hard mode series and he was, I never even got to him on hard mode. He was ridiculous. But I also just found that he made runs way too strong and he was kind of a bullshit boss. I really don't like the rat fight in, in general. The fight itself is great, but the the way that the, the loot drops at the end and the fact that you can get guaranteed weapons out the chests, I hate that. I think it's... I'm going to actually have to check this to, just to make sure. I think it's right, right, up, up, left, left. I'm fairly sure that's my code, but I should I should definitely check. Go somewhere down below. Wait, what? Okay, they are. These are very different than normal. Up, right, left. Oh, God. Up, right, left. Right, right, 
left. Oh, God. Up, right, left. Let's do that first. Up, right, left. Up, right, left. This is great. <laughs> Up, right. Ooh, does barcode work on these guys? No. Left. Oh god. Okay. Now. Back to checking it again. Oh, so we, we did the first three, which are up, right, left. Up, right, left. And then right, right, left. Right, right, left. So double right, then left. Oh, damn, there's new rooms here. Okay. And then left. This should be it, right? Huzzah! I did it with all of my might. I don't think I need to, like, reload anything, really. We should also do the tried and true tactic. Push the hearts into the fight. Whoever found this tactic is a genius. It's such a stupid thing. I can't believe it works. It never got patched as well. I can't remember how far you've got to push him in, though. Wait, what? Well, they weren't pushing it. Oh, there you go. They're really hard to push. Maybe this is why no one found it out for a while. Because they're exceedingly annoying to push around. Stop going back. Oh, fuck it. I mean, he, the thing is, he's gonna go down pretty quick. And also, I feel like I have gotten better at the game since I last fought this guy. I'm probably a little looser on his patterns and remembering them, but dodging-wise, I definitely feel like I'm better. I mean, you saw that Warmonger fight the other day. I say that as I get hit, but at the same time, I'm going to blame that on me not remembering the patterns than anything else. Same with that one. Did the, did the heart survive? Yes! <laughs> the tactic's so dumb, I love it. Also, we should be checking for war mimics. By the way, having this bouncy shotgun is going to be so funny for checking for war mimics, because it's just going to hit every fucking wall. Oh, also, expect me to completely disastrously fail the punch out. Be ready for that. I don't remember any of this guy's attack patterns, really. Also, I love the fact that this thing basically never has to reload. How does this work again? Does it, like, drop on me or something? I can't remember. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. Not too bad. For the most part, nothing too bad here. Okay, there you go. Now it has to reload. Now, this is the one I don't remember. It's like, get in here, isn't it? And then, ah, oh, okay, yeah, I remember now. Just roll when they start flashing. Okay. I've got it down. Took a little while. I, th this fight itself is actually super, super cool. There you go. Yeah, punch out, I can't remember how to do at all. 
<laughs> I am not ready for this. I definitely can't remember how to super, so don't even count on that. Damn it. Boom. Oh, what the hell's that? This, I actually think that this itself is really cool. Having this whole punch out thing, I think is a really interesting part of the fight in general. I just think the way that it gives you just a ton of weapons and stuff. Like, if, in terms of balance, it's bad. In terms of fun, it is pretty good. Because you do get to try out a bunch of new things, especially for modded. Nice. Should have enough time to finish this last phase. That was very rhythmic there. We got a lot going on. Oh, shit. He blocked my super. I always forget that blocks the super. There you go. We got him. Didn't finish on a super, so we didn't get all the keys, but I don't really mind. It's actually a very, very easy fight, but... Right, so, we got ourselves Graceful Goop, which I do not remember what that does. I get it quite a lot, and I always forget. Bullets Trail Poison. Oof. Kind of synergistic, as long as it gives us poison immunity, which it does. It's going to be pretty synergistic, actually, with um, our injector rounds. Got some bees. We got that, that. We got the loot bag. We got the plague pistol. And we got whatever the hell that is. Which is, yeah, probably an active item. LED Maiden. A song created by a musical alchemist to harness the power of the lead maiden. It's chords beckon forth great protection from seemingly nowhere. Oh lord. Oh lordy lord. <laughs> Um, why on earth did that hurt me? Who knows? I won't be using that again. Cool. Down we go. And let's become the rat, because why not? Resourceful indeed. Let's go. Nice little diversion for the first time in a long while. I think the punch out rat phase is like learning to ride a bike. You never really forget. <laughs> yep, there's a one in there. Oh, there's another one. And the warm mix don't seem to give items. Ah, how beautiful. Is every single room going to have one? I'm not sure. But if any of them do, we will certainly find them because we will have bullets bouncing every which way possible. It doesn't look like every single room has one, but we've seen two so far on this floor. I'm loving the clowning around that we've got going on right now. It's quite fun. There's another one. And I had another one. I do seem to gain additional loot at the end of rooms that, ha that have them, though. So that's interesting. Oh, 
I hit another one. There it is. No, my money. My precious doll has. <laughs> it didn't even let the next wave spawn. That's funny. This clown shotgun is, is, oh, it's precious. It is truly precious. Please don't spawn new one mix in here. Apache, I swear to God, I will name you. Holy hell. Excuse me? Um, help! I somehow unlocked a mimic. What? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. I can't move. Um, give escape rope. I've already got a thousand active items. I might as well give myself another. I. Oh wait. What the? Ah. Ah! Game broke! Game. Game broke. Game broke. Game broke. Apparently unlocking a mimic was too much for this game. Okay, um... We hope that test skip level fixes everything. On our hope of hopes, we pray. Test skip level shall fix all our qualms. Yes, it fixed it. Wait, can I now do test? Wait. Hmm, I can't remember how to reload a level. It's fine. Let's just let's just pretend that last stage never happened. We're missing a few items from it. But it's okay. Just never unlock a mimic. They don't like it. God damn, I'm scared of how many war mimics are gonna come across here. We also got this Curse of Flames thing, which we're handling pretty well with the sheer amount of poison we're covering the rooms with. Go on, boy. Tase him. Tase him real good. I got most of my money back there, so I'm pretty happy. I don't even need all this money, but I still can't face to lose it. I haven't used my shaft grenades, like, at all yet, apart from for the Nord key as well. I see a Mimic! Darn you, Wally boy! You wall-based heathen! I'm having a lot of fun with this though, this is a very fun run. It is a lot of nonsense, but I like it. Hello, Wobbermick. Ah, there's another one! Where's my extra loot? I love if a room like this had a warm icon in it, just slowly, but surely got like, fucking conveyor belted to its death. Oh my god, the knockback on the clown shot did so funny.
Gimme. The hell is this? The Heresy Breaker. Another active. A large hammer originally used by processors off world to destroy monuments uh, of the corrupt in power. Uh, if found new life in here after many of... It found new life in here after many said uh, protesters were shipped to the Gungeon. No idea what that means, but I'm sure we'll find out together. By the way, if you're like, hey, why don't you use some other weapons? It's like, hey, do you want to shut up? Do you want to... No. <laughs> Clown shotgun is life. Um, I've not been given the opportunity to use the Heresy Breaker yet. It said, it said to bring down corrupt monuments, which makes me think it destroys shrines. But I don't know. It either destroys shrines or kills NPCs. Because it's not being given, or maybe it doesn't need the chests, but I doubt that. I feel like it definitely destroys shrines. But, like, we're so late into the run that we're unlikely to find any more shrines, right? Unless the ones on the th uh, on bullet hell count. They might count. Okay. Ammo for this bad boy. Yeah, so we're not getting any prop for the heresy boy. I'll buy that as well. And do you know what? I'll buy the rest of your stock, too, because why the hell not? The monkey's in a barrel. Look at him go. But still, clown shotgun is low. Chown clotgun? Clotgun. clotgun? Good old chown clotgun. I heard you. Where you at? I don't want you around my neighborhood. Wait, he dropped a gun? <gasps> he dropped an item. I don't know why, but he did. Maybe they've all been dropping items and I've just not noticed. No, they haven't. This room is hell on Earth. Especially with cursed enemies. Ah, and one mix too. Thank you for tasing that guy the moment he spawned into existence. Clown shotgun, you're too good to me. There's another wave? Why? I heard it. I heard a warm mix somewhere. It's over that way. Die by taser, sir. God damn, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, Lord. Whoa. <laughs> not having an episode 70 or whatever it was called. Yeah, episode 70 again. Or not having another one of those messes. Anyone that was around for that. Oh boy. A tragic time. Um, Clown shotgun? Maybe maybe we should use the shovel thing for this. For this. I, might, I might just ab abuse the partially eaten cheese. I want to see if the heresy... Um, the Heresy Breaker does anything to this guy. It most certainly does not.
Whoopsie. I like trying to do as much of the dragon fight as I can without dodge rolling. Like, even though it's a bad idea, it's just like a fun little challenge. Obviously, attacks like this don't really get much of a choice. Why does it hurt me on ending? Seems like an odd choice. Here, you can be protected for a certain amount of time, but don't worry, you'll get hurt anyways. Last little bit of the show. Last leg. Pretty long episode here, but I don't mind it. People said... I've had a few comments saying people like the extra long episodes, so... Uh, if I've got the time to record them, I'll sure as hell do them. And I do. Right, let's go. Back to the clown gun when we get down there as well. You know, whilst I mean to bullet hell, I'm really hoping the heresy breaker works down here on something. I really want to try it out and see what it does. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining it breaks shrines and gives you a hefty reward. Or, like, a handful of rewards. I don't know for sure. I'm completely making up this idea that it breaks shrines. I've just, based on the text and it being a hammer... It kind of makes sense. It seems like a little bit of a niche. Yeah, it does. It breaks shrines. Okay, um, boom. And it gave me a gun. And it's infinite use. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> That's a really cool idea. Props to the bunny man. But. We will only be using Clown Shotgun from here on out. And you know why? Clown Shotgun is best shotgun. You think there's other guns in the Gungeon? It was only ever Clown Shotgun. Are you telling me there's more War Mimics in this room? We already had two. There's a third. Okay, so they do, they can drop items. Is that another active item? It's not. It's an actual real item. It's a real item that we can use to do things. Ignites nearby enemies upon killing an enemy. Nice. Get a bit of that gasoline action from Risk or N2. It's got a, a hefty radius, too. And ignited enemies drop fire pools now, too. Thanks for our nice little synergy. I don't even need the money. Why am I picking it up? I see gold coins, and I'm like, no, don't let them fall. That would be terrible. And I'm like, wait a minute, would it? No, not really. Oh, my lord. I'm down, sir. Hello, shrine. I have a heresy breaker? Excuse me? Are you not a real shrine? Have you lied to me? Room's a little saucy, but we got it. Oh, 
I realized this was a loop back to where we've just come from. I was like, we've already committed. We're already halfway down the path. I walked right into that one. Quite literally. Just hoping for ammo, really, now. Like, we don't need any right now, but we're going to need some in the future. Like, reasonably soon. Good. The jam enemies haven't been too bad for us, actually. You tried, big sucky boy. But not this time. I heard you warn me. Don't think I didn't. There's another one. Here's another one. <laughs> oh, God. This one gave us the D-pad, which is actually a worthwhile gun to use because it's going to give us um, a chest at the end to so just spam all of this ammo. It actually does decent damage, too, especially, especially if you manage to fire at special shots. Oh, God. There's three wall mimics in this room and a boss. I was like, why aren't I firing? Then I realized my poison is covering the no-shoot zone underneath my feet. Okay, let's get out something else now for a little bit. Something's going to kill him a bit quicker. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I love this boss fight. It's so good. Bunny's boss fights are legit better than the vanilla boss fights in a lot of cases. So much more style to them and, like, effects and stuff. No! I interacted with the mimic again! Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm, so I'm fucked. Okay, I can move normally if I open the map, but only if I open the map. We can make it work. No, we can't. I have made mistakes. God damn it. Um, I don't know what to do here. Test, skip level again, and see what happens. I don't know what will happen. <laughs> Does it, is it just going to reload the floor? I'm kind of okay with that, I guess. There must be a reload floor command anyway, so I just don't know what it is right now. But what if it takes to, like, a past or something? <laughs> or, like, back to the breach? I genuinely don't know. I have a feeling it might just get caught in an infinite loop here. Because, like, it might not know what to do. I might have just given it a command that breaks things. But it was already broken anyway, so... A bit of a sad end to an episode if that's going to be the case, but what are you going to do? Interact with a mimic? Get destroyed. I didn't realise that was what broke it in the last time, so there you go. Apparently something to do with mimics is broken. Anyhow, looks like this is going to be a, a bitter end. Um, unless we can find another command. Test. Reload. Nope. Level. Skip level, no. I don't know. Um, load. Underscore level. Bullet. Underscore hell. Try it out. Have we saved the day, or have we broke everything more? Let's find out. <gasps> oh my lord, we've done it. And apparently, we have created a ridiculous timer. <laughs> what the hell?
I also can't... Okay, I also can't shoot. Are you okay, game? Do you want to try that again? Do you want to give that another go? <laughs> oh, I love this. I break this game so unbelievably badly. And I never know how or why. What happens if you go into a normal room? I just can't shoot. <laughs> I, I can move, but I can't blank or shoot or interact. Okay, well, I guess this run's over. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Apparently, I will leave you off at zero, 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 zero. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.